All right, thanks, Joe. All right, here we go. The YWCA in McLean County is creating opportunities that empower women who have faced incarceration all through a touch of creativity in items like these. Joining us to talk more about Labyrinth Homemade Goods are Candace Bird and Marilyn Brown. Thank you so much for being here, you two. Appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you for having us. us. This is such a cool cause, such a cool idea. Tell me more about Labyrinth, how to get started, and what's the mission of the group? Oh, yeah, so the beginning of it was an idea um, how to create a social enterprise that could initially provide opportunities for women who had experienced incarceration. So we were born 2019. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> I always get that mixed up um, with the month, but yes. Born 2019 came from that idea and we tried to create something sustainable so we could provide actual livable wages. Yeah, and so we we provide real chances for women who have experienced incarceration to rebuild their lives and achieve their goals. Um, we provide professional development trainings, we do paid apprenticeships, and we do permanent employment with the YWCA of McLean County in Bloomington. Oh, that's excellent. You know, obviously getting a fresh start like this has to be an amazing feeling for these women that are involved. Oh, absolutely. You know, what are some of your favorite stories about the people that you've interacted with over the course of this program's existence, essentially? A lot of what I have heard in the first part, which is our uh, professional development program, is the I can't or I, you know, th not me, I'm not the one that you want. And when we start to foster the empowerment pieces, like letting them know, like, hey, the skill that you have, it's transferable. You can do that and apply it here. Let's show you, you know, how you can do more with that and then the confidence you start hearing the confidence like you're right i might be nervous but i'm at least going to try and then it turns into yep i can do that that's great i love that and we're talking about application of skills here a little bit as well yes tell me a little bit about you brought some products in what, what do we have here on the table so we make 100 percent soy candles and we as the employees and the apprentices we design market and sell these products to gain important transferable skills like Candace talked about and that in turn leads us to better employment opportunities. Yes, so these are the names, the scents are created by the women, us and everyone on the Labyrinth Made Good team. So what you're seeing here, we've designed uh, what you see on the outside and the actual scent is bespoke and tailored to like, if we say the word tranquility, what does that smell like to us? How do we want to feel when we inhale that scent? And that's how we oh. come up with what it smells oh like. Oh my gosh, any Take favorite? Oh, absolutely. I was like, these are some of our favorites. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> See, I like this brilliance. Um, while I'm taking a sniff here, do you have a favorite sense that, you know, maybe comes to mind or do you like all of them? Um, Revitalize is my favorite. I love lemon and... So fresh. The brilliance is a very appropriate name for it as well. I love that. And that's oh one goodness. of our newest scents that, yes. we, um, that we just released. Oh, so my gosh. I'm going to try this one as well. Definitely a fan favorite. And, you know, talk, touching a little bit about the, you know, talk about the mission of the group as well and what you set out to do. If you had to describe the mission, how would you categorize it? How would you describe it to somebody who may not be familiar with Labyrinth? Yeah, so Marilyn had mentioned real chances. And our... Our main goal is to change the narrative. We want people, employers, businesses, um, po landlords. politics, landlords, to really look at folks as an individual as opposed to their background. So what some people don't know is that after you're sentenced, you continue to have barriers like denial for livable uh, wages, even personal services like nanny.com and Angie's List. If you have a background, you can't even put your own business onto Angie's List. Um, so there's a lot of layers that are still there that you have to break down. So we work to alleviate those and really instill like the skills and um, I know we said the empowerment before but kind of fostering that um, getting the word out of what we can do as a community to support people who have experienced incarceration definitely I think support is the key word there we're gonna put some information up on your screen here just a little bit more about labyrinth you can find their product line and learn more about them as well by going to www.labyrinthgoods.com an incredible cause an awesome idea some amazing scents too. I love these candles. So definitely something worth checking out. 
Thank you two so much for being here today. Thank We're really grateful us. to have we you. We enjoyed it. Thank Perfect. you. Perfect. When we come back, we'll have a little bit more. And if you or someone you know would like to join us on Talk of the Town, go to 25newsnow.com slash community, and you can visit the Talk of the Town tab and submit that form. And, of course, we're celebrating some birthdays in central Illinois today. Stick around with us to find out who is blowing out some candles.